What's going on, Taurus? Welcome back to the Jewelry Box. It's your girl, Empress Gem, here to drop these jewels. This will be your Spirit Says message for the next seven days. General message, guys. Ooh. What's going on? General message. Take what's for you. Leave the rest behind. Somebody is going through a lot of shit. Okay? Um, and let me get this out real quick. And that's probably why I started y'all before I even finished shuffling the deck out for you. Um, I was hearing working nine to five. So somebody's like working hard or overworking, working themselves like to the bone, like the dead bone. Okay. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. I saw a Virgo. You could, and, um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay. Um, Taurus, even yourself or another Taurus like yourself. All right. But, um, somebody is really in a sticky situation. Okay. Feeling really jammed, could have a jam packed schedule even. Okay, somebody's getting caught up in their lies and their manipulation and their BS. But like I was saying, guys, general message, all right, take what's for you, leave the rest behind. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and your north node, because that's what these are for. Cross watchers, what's going on? You're welcome to stay, but sit your ass in the back, right? Right. If none of that applies, come back and holler at you on the next seven to ten days. So, what popped out? Yeah, ain't nobody got time. I feel like in a month, a lot of things are about to change, okay? And I feel like after hearing this message, whatever comes out, you're going to know that you need to move forward because you're on the track towards abundance. Yep, and this came back around 888 money. Could be seeing that, but you need to go hard. And I feel like it's like go hard or go home, okay? I'm hearing that Jeezy shit, okay? So you could be from London or from England. Um, I saw West Indies as well, so... You could be from an island, you know? But we got Jack the Ripper energy, serial energy, all right? Killer. She a killer. What is the how that song? I don't know. She a killer. Oh, Tiana Taylor. Go find a song. But I think it's called She a Killer, something like that. But it talk about, like, how, you know... Being a badass and accomplished and getting things done and seductive and just like candling shit and magnetic, okay? Um, you could have this very uh, magnetizing energy where people are so drawn to you and how you handle things and what you're doing here, okay? You're getting to the bag and it's uh, I'm seeing a spotlight, so a lot of a lot of spotlight is on you. A lot of people are watching you, okay? Um, sweating, so there could be a lot of nerves here, okay? Nervousness, um. I don't know why. I feel like somebody could be shy here. You could have cancer highly aspected in your chart somewhere. You could be like very, very shy. You could be a Taurus Gemini cusp because little do people know, although Geminis, we are very like um, enthusiastic and full of life and energetic when we're around, like when you see us and you get to know us and we're like, oh, 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 we're so animated. Deep down, we're really like shy ass fucking people. But uh, for some strange reason, I don't know, maybe the other twin just flicks itself on and we have this inner strength to like not project our shyness or show our shyness out to people. But like, I really feel a lot of that. So here we go. <laughs> Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here for Taurus for the next seven days for the highest good? Mm -hmm. Scorpio energy. You're being divinely guided right now at this time. Okay, something definitely could be coming to an ending here. You could be going through a transformation or a rebirth. Or like I said, you could be dealing with a Scorpio here, but this is dealing with a twin flame connection, okay? Or you could be mirroring somebody, or this could be just a part of your destiny, something or someone you're destined to be with, okay? Um, I feel like you need to watch your step, or somebody needs to watch your step, okay? Some pineapple, something could um, like I said, there's this sense of uncomfortable being uncomfortable, or like sweating, or like nervousness, okay? There's some sort of anxiety taking place right now. There could be a message coming in, okay? And whoever's sending this message is somebody who's obsessed with your life, okay? I feel like this is somebody who could also want to come back and be with you. But again, you need to watch your step. I don't feel like if this is your twin flame, okay, be careful and be cautious because they may have some secrets and some things that you are not aware of, okay? This person could be getting ready to make moves towards you towards um in this summer, okay? But um, it feels like they've known you their whole life, okay? There's a new balance here. Like I said, somebody wants to come back, rebalance the scales, okay, and try it again. 
Um, but at the end of the day, this person was doing a whole bunch of fucking magic, okay? They were doing a whole lot of hocus pocus. And again, it's Jack the Ripper. They was doing it repeatedly. Like I said, you could have been dealing with another Taurus here because we had an earth angel or earth energy. So that's, this could be an earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who was doing this type of magic here on you or on your person to like stop them from going into this divine connection, all right? Something could have happened in December, or you could be done with a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. Somebody also could be wanting to send you a gift or give you a gift within the next week here. I feel like you may not trust it, okay? Because this person at one given point has left you out in the cold with the purple rain energy. They left your ass at Lake Minnetonka, but as fucking naked. Yes, the fuck they did. Ooh, bitch, you got nice curves. Mm-hmm. Who ain't got no bitches? Let me say, what? <laughs> okay, but yeah, so this could be um somebody of the same sex as you, okay? But there's also this also could just be a gold digger energy. So your twin flame could be getting ready to come towards you, and they could have a, a ex who is trying to stop this connection by doing all type of magic, okay? They could be another earth sign like yourself, or they could be doing to you, doing this to you, earth sign, Taurus, okay? But I feel like, yeah, like this person, like they don't even really want your person who's coming towards you. They want them for their finances and what it is they can do. This is a gold digger ass energy, okay? They're not your friend. This also could even be your friend here who act like they care about you, but they really fucking don't, okay? Understand and know that shit is about to hit the fan mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the next week, okay? Yeah, shit's about to hit the fan. Or this summer, shit is about to hit the fan. Something is definitely a wrap. Something is definitely fucking over. Casket sharp is the end. Okay, somebody also could be um, resting in peace from whatever hocus pocus or setups that they were trying to do. Because again, Jack the Ripper, serial killer here, okay? And that casket sharp, that's a funeral. So somebody could literally be going down for repeatedly doing all type of magic with their high obsession of you, okay? Somebody who tried to leave you out in the rain is really about to be left out and like probably six feet under or cremated, I'm hearing, because they can't afford the fucking casket. Damn, that's kind of deep. So well, that's what the hell I get. Okay, I, I digress. I, I'm just a messenger. Um... Karma's that karma, whatever. But yeah, I feel like you do need to cut that bitch off. You need to cut off that person. You or your this also could be because they got cut off, okay? Um, and it's a dead end. Somebody got really cut off because they realized that this person was a sheep a wolf in sheep's clothing. But you're being divinely guided right now to speak your truths. I don't I don't I don't know why they got me pulling it like this. But you need to what's understood don't need to be explained because justice is going to come out of this situation. Nothing is going to happen. Whatever this person's trying to do, I feel like it's going back like a boomerang effect, okay? It's been going on and you're the last one to find out about this Taurus, okay? Somebody might even be pregnant or try to use magic to get pregnant. They felt like they was untouchable okay could be a brazilian dessert like i said this is an x here somebody's x doing this this could be their initials f l r x z first middle last i'm getting a city i'm getting a state or a country so this is like location in this case and then i'm getting the numbers one three seven one 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 three 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 seven 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 yeah you're an indigo child or like i said you see this in your dreams and as i said everything that they're doing is being reversed and what's right in front of that the libra energy Mm-hmm. And what's in front of that? A karmic feminine. All that shit is going back on whoever this ex-karmic feminine is. And again, feminine, masculine, we have them both in us. It could be a female, truly, okay? Or it could be a bitch main nigga. So we already know how that rolls. So let's get your lessons card and decision here. You have abundance lining up or your abundance, okay? Mirror in effect. So you're abundant on your own. And I feel like this could be your twin flame trying to make a decision or trying to come towards you. But they're stuck because they have this lingering ex that won't let them go. Okay. But they know that coming in together with you will be an abundant situation. And they don't want to lose out on this with this regret here. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, they understand. They see both sides of the story. They get it and they love you. They love you a lot and they want to come towards you, Taurus. Okay? So, accept it. And even if, like, if you're just like, ah, like, but for real, like, this person, your twin intentions is good, okay? It's the person that, their ex, their ex intentions is nasty as hell. Like, this ex has done so much shit to them and I feel like they're going to come in and tell you this. And this ex is also trying to do shit to you, okay? Yeah, judgment on that ass. So, let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here? 
to close off with Taurus. Perseverance. You need to keep pushing. Keep focusing on you. Stay self-love. Pre preservation, I'm hearing. Okay. Because, <laughs> yeah, this is perseverance. But preservation. Preserve yourself. Don't give your 1010, as I was saying that. Don't give your energy to every and anybody. Stay closed off. I'm almost, I'm seeing the hermit card. And uh, what is that? What deck is that? What is that little common deck that everybody, the truth seer tarot or something like that? But I'm seeing that hermit, the one where, the, where they're sitting on the mountain and the stairway is being lit up. Like your person's coming up the lit stairway to you while you're sitting in this hermit mode. <clears throat> Damn, they don't want me to say this. Stay focused and stay hidden, okay? Keep your shit low key. Your person's coming through, okay? But I know that whatever... I set my mind to I can do it pretty much. Yeah, because somebody really wants to blame you for like, I don't know, that person breaking up with them, leaving them, whatever the case may be. But I feel like it was already a lost cause, that situation between them. Yeah, the, it was already done. The cycle's over. They done already did their service with that ex person. So they need to get over it and not try to blame you. You just keep focus on what you're doing here. And yeah, your twin flame is coming. Your divine counterpart is coming. <laughs> so that has been your message, Taurus. I hope that has helped. Until the next time we speak, peace out.